Gotta fix the tea ties. Okay. Perfect. Can we just like, before we get into this, can we please just like literally admire how dope this look came out? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video was requested by my Instagram fam. So if you ain't following me already, be sure to because that's what determines what videos I'd be putting out. Today I... You know, I was gonna do a wig review, you know? And then I held a poll, I held a poll on my Instagram a couple weeks ago, and you guys voted for this story time. Now, let me just say, this story time, it's a little extra. Like, it is, the entire thing is just, it's just so unnecessary, okay? I don't even know what other way to put it, but the entire situation just, Ne like, I shouldn't even be having to make this story time, like, to be 100% honest, but let's just, let's just take y'all back to the beginning. Now, yes, technically me and Brendan are banned from an Asian buffet, and I really wanted Brendan to be here for this video because I feel like you guys deserve to have it from both percep- both perceptions? Perspectives. Both perspectives, okay? But um, unfortunately, he wasn't able to be in the video with me, but I'm gonna tell it the best I can, the best for my memory and for my perspective, honey, okay? Now, this whole situation took place, I wanna say like three to four years ago. Chinese food is literally by far like my top two foods up there. The first one being like chicken tacos, spicy chicken tacos, like authentic chicken tacos, not no little bougie fucking place that's giving you like a scoop of beans and a scoop of rice. But anyway, so it's not about Mexican food, it's about Chinese food. So, so personally, I loved Chinese food. I loved, loved, loved going to Chinese food buffets when I was younger. Like, just being able to pick whatever you wanted. I loved that um, meat on a stick. My family calls it rat on a stick. We don't even know what kind of meat it is. Um, but it's fire, okay? And then getting those little, like, donuts, but with your meal. Like, I don't know, as a kid, it was just so amazing. Okay, so back to the point. Me and Brendan went on a date night, like, two or three years ago. And, of course, I was like, Chinese, please, Chinese buffet. So, we went to one of our um, favorite buffets. We have been to this buffet literally for years. Like, I... It's nothing new. It is <laughs> it is something where you know exactly what quality you're going to get when you go there and get your food. And it was like one of those Chinese buffets where it was just hu like huge inside. So um, we go, I think we went sometime during the middle of the week because it really was not that busy at all. Um, but the whole reason we went on this little date night is because Brendan had... Um, two Visa gift cards that he got from work or something so we're like why not let's go get a free meal and like thinking about it we could have probably totally used that for something else rather than Chinese food but <laughs> back to the point we go to the restaurant it's really not that busy at all and um, the food is pretty good like I'm chowing down I'm pretty sure I had like two plates two or three plates this is the one I used to eat like a lot and um, it gets to the point where we are getting our bill and not the bill the check okay <laughs> and so the waiter that was like runs around and gets your refills like he comes over he gives us our check and at this location it's like a Chinese buffet where there is runners going around like getting refills this and that so they bring you your check and they'll take your card or your money or whatever it is and they'll go up to the front and go ahead and um, you know do the transaction so um, typically every time I've been to a Chinese buffet you pay in the beginning so I was kind of confused by that but like I said we've been going to this location 
for a while and it was just something normal that was like that at that buffet so um so at this point we're finishing up our food um Brendan lets the guy know that there's two gift cards because the balance was like 25 on each of them I think our total had to been like $30, okay? After we eat, we get our gift cards back and we get the receipt, sign off on it, tip the guy, leave. It's literally just a normal type of like transaction, just like anywhere else you go. So then we get in the truck and we're on our way to go ahead and go to Walmart. I'm pretty sure we were gonna go get like some type of game or something so that we could like continue our night okay so we get to the checkout there and he goes to slide the remainder of the second visa gift card and um you know it says that it's declined we're pretty confused because one of them should have had a balance on it so then he swipes the other visa gift card and that one gets declined as well. Now, I know I'm kind of like everywhere in this story, but let me break it down really simple. Both Visa gift cards had a $25 balance. So we have two Visa gift cards, that's $50 total, guys. And our total at the restaurant had to been like 30, like $32 or something like that, and then I left him a tip in cash. So, do the math, we're missing, you know, some money there. Like, I don't know what math that is, but <laughs> So, <laughs> so that's not the point of this fucking video. I'm not here to do math. I'm here to tell you the story, okay? So we go ahead and call the Visa gift card balance and it says zero. And we're like, oh, hell no. We look at the little transaction thing because on those type of Visa gift cards, you can literally pull it up as well. And basically what it said was that we were charged double for our food. And I don't know how that worked out. To this day, I, I really, I still don't know. I feel like they ran our gift card on one receipt and rung up something else and ran it on a separate receipt, like for the remainder balance. I really, to this day, you guys, I have no idea what happened, but we were definitely over freaking charged. So, as we're at Walmart, heading to the car, because we obviously didn't get anything, um, Brendan's on the phone calling the restaurant, and at this point, there's a language barrier, I'm not even gonna lie. And apparently they have no idea what we're talking about. So we drive another like 25 minutes back to the Asian buffet. And at this point, they're like getting ready to close. Like, cause we went late for dinner. And once we get there, hi Willow. <laughs> and once we got there, all hell broke loose, okay? So we walk in, we show them our receipt, and then we say, this other gift card, we gave him the, the guy a second gift card, and, um, you know, there's nothing on it, so where's our money? Like, what happened? We so then, Brendan pulls up the transaction receipt on his phone and shows the guy, and he was just like, no, no, I don't know what you're talking about, and I have no idea where the waiter was, like, at this point, like I said, they were closing up as we got there, so he probably left. But we're speaking to the owner at this point. So Brendan, in the middle of us arguing with this man, he's on the phone with the Visa, like, customer fucking helpline, and they're reading exactly what, where the gift card was charged, and it's the exact restaurant. So then at this point, Brendan's like pretty freaking heated because at the end of the day like money's money if it's missing bitch like where's it at so he's got the customer service person on the line as we're like you know over the counter the guy's behind the counter and we're like standing right here we're it was just getting it was intense you guys it was getting intense so as the customer service person's on the line like they know that some shit's about to go down too no so so this is a thing that really like had me thinking in that moment like did the man did the did the Chinese buffet owner really not know what we were saying or did like or was he just like a part of it you know what I mean so um Brennan's like this you overcharged me like I'm going to go ahead and dispute the charge then if you're not gonna give me my money back and so the guy's like yeah I'm not giving you your money back like I'm gonna go ahead and ad lib really quick basically at the at during this whole conversation, he was arguing that he wasn't going to give us our money back. He wasn't going to 
put the right amount back on the card, like, not, not, we weren't even asking for a refund, because like I said, the food was good, it was bomb, I was full, like, I had no complaints there, but anyway, so he kept saying he wasn't going to give Brendan his money back, and at this point, I was just, like, standing there, like, some shit's about to happen, like, for real, some shit's about to happen, and so, at this point, Brendan's getting louder, and I'm, like, one of those people, like, I will get angry, like, but when I do, it's like, it's bad. You know what I mean? So if I'm really quiet during the situation, like, don't get me fucking wrong, I'm analyzing. I'm fucking analyzing and I'm like paying the fuck attention to what's happening. Because one thing I really hate is when you're in the middle of an argument with somebody and then like 10 minutes later, after the whole situation is gone and whatever, they walked, walked away, you know, like this, I fucking should have said this, you know, so I'm just like looking back and forth, they're arguing, they're arguing, and I'm like, oh shit, you know, and Brendan's like, you know what, I'm disputing the charges, I'm disputing it, you don't want to give me my money back, I'll dispute it, and this Asian man, apparently, like this, he didn't know what that meant, he didn't know what that meant, and he starts getting louder as well, and he's just like, dispute, what does dispute mean? I don't know what accent that was, I really don't, but anyway, he was just like, what does dispute mean? And he's like, <laughs> and then Brennan's like, it means no money, you ain't gonna get your money, and he literally, the way he said it, he fucking understood real quick, that Asian man understood real motherfucking quick that he was not getting his money because once he heard that his whole demeanor from like oh no I'm not giving you a refund like carefree like whatever like you're probably lying went to you gonna give me my money like he started going off and I have never in my life experienced it like this was type, one of those situations where it was for real like a world star like bitches would have had their camera phone out like I said if there was a lot more people there so they getting they're getting in a yelling match the guy's still behind the counter and he's like you don't give me my money you're gonna uh so now the guy's saying that we're basically stealing from him and that we're not giving him his money and I'm like Yo, like this whole thing is getting so out of proportion, like I don't know what in the hell is happening right now. So, um, the Asian man, as Brennan's on the, he's still on the phone with customer service. So, honestly, I forgot they were even on the phone. The person was honestly probably just listening to this entire thing go down. But, um, <laughs> then the Asian man picks up the phone and he's like, I'm gonna call the police, I'm gonna call the police, and so... At this point, I'm like, oh, hell no, I cannot get arrested, like, my mom gonna beat my ass, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm just like, <clears throat> I'm dying. <laughs> okay, I almost choked. Just the thought of having to call my mom to, like, bail me out. I don't know why, but I literally, I just, I always have... <laughs> I always have a feeling my mom one day is gonna have to bail me out of jail and I don't know I've gotten in a couple situations where It has been kind of close. So as he says that he is calling the police that he's picking up the phone I'm gonna call the police. I was like this. Oh fuck And Brenda knew shit was about to get real because he's like come on babe. Let's go and so um, We're running to the parking lot like, we really committed a crime, but we didn't. So we're, we're running to the parking lot, we jump in this truck, and at this point, Brendan had like, a, like an, F, an F-150? Is that what it's called? <laughs> so he had that, and so, and it was stick shift, you know what I mean? It was like one of those big old trucks, like he, Brendan loved that damn truck, and he would always like, just fuck around in it, you know what I mean? So. We hop into the truck, slam the doors, and the Asian man is running out behind us. I'm not even playing. It was literally like a fucking movie or like if we just had done a bank heist or something because the way we ran and hopped in that car and that Asian man was coming out with his phone, like he was recording the whole thing. And then next thing you know, Brendan slams the truck in gear and like just takes off, dude. Like peels the fuck out. Like the tires were fucking skirting, bitch. Like I'm not even playing. So we're driving down the street and it's just kind of quiet in the truck. 
Like, because we know what the hell just happened, and we're like, I can't believe this. Like, what is happening? Like, how, like, how did it turn on us? You know what I mean? And so, the idea that popped in my head was, Brendan, well, he called the police. Why don't you go ahead and call the police and tell the police that they owe you fucking money? Like, they stole you, they stole your money, technically. So, um, Brendan's calling, we're still driving, we're still in the car, we're not even that far away from the restaurant, but we're calling, and, um, the dispatcher obviously was like, This is not an emergency, please call the non-emergency line. Like, basically like, why the fuck are you calling about an argument at an Asian buffet? Like, you know what I mean? So, we... It called the non-emergency line and so Brendan's like yeah I just want to call you guys because I was just at an Asian buffet with my girlfriend and they overcharged me and stuff but they wouldn't give me my money back and then the guy basically tried to turn it on me saying that I was stealing from him and then he said he was gonna call the police on us so we like basically like ran away and left and basically recapping the entire thing that just happened and all you hear is the dispatcher just laughing, like literally laughing his ass off. And it was just so weird to me because like, I was like, this is really a stupid ass scenario that just happened. You know what I mean? So once the guy on the phone stops laughing, once the dispatcher stops laughing, he's like, he's like, I cannot believe this, but they were just talking about the call that they got from an Asian man at an Asian buffet saying that somebody stole their money. And so then we're laughing too because we're like, okay, this is this whole thing is just like fucking so out of control, like blown out of proportion for no reason. And so the dispatcher is just like, you're, you guys are fine, don't worry about it. Like you said to the guy, just dispute the charge, like just take it from there. There's literally nothing that's gonna happen from this because you guys didn't do anything wrong. So that was literally like the end of the night. We went back home, I'm pretty sure, um, you know, we've disputed the charge, got the money back. Um, but we went back home and we were literally just still in awe that this entire situation even happened because like what like like i said in the beginning this shouldn't even be a story i have to tell it's just like common sense but like i said we haven't been back there for i think three to four years and I wouldn't be surprised if back in the day they had our pictures from surveillance printed on the wall because that entire thing, it was like we were going to be in the cast of Fast and Furious 27, you guys, like running out of that place like we just stole like a hundred grand, peeling out in that truck, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> it was just... It was just one of those times where you really can't even believe that this is, has happened. <laughs> but um, that is it for the story, guys. That is how we got officially banned from a Chinese buffet. Um, and we have yet to go back there. Maybe one day, you know, since I have all these different looks, I'll go back there and see if they recognize me. <laughs> but anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. I tried to make it as entertaining as I could, but not too long. Also, before you guys leave, if you want to check out where I got my lashes, they are from Siren Beauty. I will leave their info in the description box below. And if you want to check out this hair, Hunty, I'll go ahead and leave a link right here. Anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. I kind of like this because I feel like a news anchor. But this has tequila and lemonade. Strawberry lemonade, to be exact. And now I really question what those news anchors are honestly really drinking. Because don't I look so official right now? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm out of here. <laughs>